so i thought the bowlers although they started uh, with a shocker i think they came back well as a bowling unit and restricted uh, india to 162 which is a good effort but uh, when vanindu got out and then eventually dashun got out it left chamika on his own to do the job but uh, from where we were i think hats off to those three to taking a close game uh, and bringing the game that far මං හිතනවා අපි පිටි කරනේ පොඩි වැරදි වගේක් කරා විශේෂයෙන් කිව්වොත් මුල් පෙළ පිටි කරුවන්ගෙන් අපිට මීට වැඩිය සහයක් ලැබෙන තිබ්බ කියලා මම හිතුවා නමුත් පසු පෙළ පිටි කරුවන්ගෙන් හොඳ කම්බැක් එකක් දීලා මං හිතනවා හොඳ තරංගකට ගිනාවා කියලා නමුත් අවසනාන්තයට අපිට ඒක ඉවර කර ගන්න බැරි වුණා ඊළඟ තරංගයේ අපි මේ මේ තරගයේ කරපු වැරදි ටික කතා කරගෙන මීට වැඩිය හොඳ ක්‍රීඩාවක් මීට වැඩිය හොඳ ගේම් එකක් ඉස්සරහට ගේන්න වෙනවා මොකද ඉන්දියා වගේ කණ්ඩායමක් එක සෙල්ලම් කරනකොට අපි දන්නා ඒගොල්ලෝ කොහෙද ඉන්නේ කියලා ඉතින් අපි අපේ උපරිම අපේ හොඳම ක්‍රිකට් එක ඉස්සරහට ගෙනල ක්‍රීඩාකරොත් පමණයි අපිට තරගයක් ජයග්‍රහණය කරන්න වෙන්නේ Uh, in that uh, scenario, did it uh, promise someone like Gandhi to go back and pick up? Well, uh, I wouldn't say that. I think, uh, I think uh, the pass score in this ground uh, batting first is somewhere around 170, 180. So I thought the bowlers, although they started uh, with a shocker, I think they came back well as a bowling unit and restricted Uh, India to 162, which is a good effort, and uh, I think uh, the score was gettable. It was uh, the batting unit uh, need to take responsibility that uh, they need to get this uh, score. Exactly, yeah. Every time uh, there are so many positives to take back. I think uh, even with the bowling, I think uh, the youngsters who are playing in the formative years of their careers. Uh, Uh, this experience will go a long way for them and i i believe that uh, they will learn every game and move forward and they'll only get better and uh, batting wise also i think uh, we've got a lot of learnings there to take with us uh, for the next game yes uh, i don't know the coach i just wanted to ask you about how you started sadhi and also part of the squad and a very good mp and both of them played for the same team so How would you assess where they are because I'm sure they're obviously coming back from an injury and where they are at right now and if they have any chance of future in the next two games? Uh, obviously, uh, I think the selectors must be thinking about it now because uh, these two boys have done really well in the LPL and uh, Avishka, of course, uh, uh, has been doing well before he got injured and Sadhir has been doing well in the Sri Lanka A team for a while now. So obviously those two are in line. That's the reason why they are with the squad. Um, I'm sure they'll get an opportunity to play somewhere down the line, and I'm sure uh, the selectors will think about it to to make way. Yeah. So based on the batting, there were quite a lot of A players where you felt you could have improved. So what do you feel was the turning point in the Ranchi? Was it last month's cricket, or was it a little earlier where you lost a couple of wickets? Yeah, I think it was Vanindu, uh, Vanindu and Dasun when they batted. Uh, it looked like you know we needed a bit of a partnership from them to take it a little bit longer. But uh, when Vanindu got out and then eventually Dasun got out, it left Chamika on his own to do the job. But uh, from where we were, I think hats off to those three to taking a close game uh, and bringing the game that far. Uh, well, uh, most of the injuries uh, that happened 
were, were soft tissue injuries like hamstring and things like that and uh, I believe uh, some of them were due to, uh, to soft ground conditions that we played in Geelong and, uh, and obviously the training program uh, has been altered and, and, uh, and we are thinking about uh, having new uh, fitness protocols to, to alter that, to, to counter that. And uh, I'm sure uh, it's going to going to be uh, successful, and we are we are going to sort of counter uh, the soft tissue injuries that we had in the past with that. Yes, last question. Coach, uh, in the Liga and Slam, that cricket is a norm, especially in the cricket. Sorry. When when Slam and cricket is the norm, when it comes to T20 cricket, especially. How challenging is it for you to actually make batters realize that for a relatively uh, smaller target, you don't really have to go so hard right from the world war, especially to top four or five. Like, there is a phase in people where you can actually take your time and then the assess the situation. How challenging is it from a coaching perspective? Well, uh, I think it's all about gaining momentum in T20 cricket and also uh, you know, finding the balance of uh, when to attack and and when to knock the singles off. Uh, it's a it's a bit challenging because uh, sometimes uh, players tend to to waste a lot of balls, too many dot balls, and find themselves in a situation where you're far behind the asking rate. So uh, so so the easiest way uh, to play T20 cricket is to be positive and to look at uh, to play aggressive cricket and whenever the opportunities arise. Uh, to go for it and uh, whenever there is a low score most of the time there is a reason behind it uh, maybe maybe the condition of the ground or the condition of the wicket and uh, and the batsman will will have that challenge to counter that and play accordingly according to the ground conditions so uh, it's a pretty challenging task to uh, to find that the right balance between attack and uh, being defensive but uh, I guess T20 cricket is about uh, being aggressive, being positive. I, we always encourage our boys to, to do the same. And uh, if you be positive and if you be aggressive, I'm sure the results are going to be on our side uh, more often than not. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks.